This car here is $47,000. Look at this. Yeah, they don't matter as much as filming their cars, bro. Businesses don't want their shady shit on camera. If this car does super good and people call me like, ah, f that car, I'm not getting this because you don't have a then okay, we'll go spend the extra 25 grand. Give you my bag full of money. Thanks. It's time to go uh, car shopping because today is a day of nothing that we have nothing else to do. What, what, are, we, what are we supposed to do? We've, we've got to find something to do. Cold winter day. It's like 40 degrees right now. It's uh, 48 degrees. It's 48 degrees. It's uh, almost New Year's, okay? And like I said, right at the end of the year, it's car buying. You've got to buy all your cars for the next three months, literally the last week of December. So it's very, very important that you go and you shop for all this stuff now because dealers, the way they make money, they have flooring lines, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, let's give a quick cameo to our beautiful new tow truck right there. Oh my gosh, can't wait to see that on the road. And the Jeep, looking fresh. Um, and the super sick semi truck, which is great. Uh, let's see, I, I'm really on this kick after the 2020 GT500 to get some, uh, some cousins of that car. Right, we've got to get the Corvette back on the, the fleet. We've got to get a Hellcat. We've got to get a bunch of these muscle cars, sports cars. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up another i8. Uh, let's see what else we're going to get in that category. We got the GTR. I would probably put the Bentley GTC in that category as well. If that makes sense, right? Do you guys agree? Bentley GTC yeah. in that category. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a thing that the Bentley is. Uh, it's a. It's, it's a weird car because it's a super expensive luxury car, but they've depreciated to the point to where they're basically $80,000 sports cars. You know, no matter which Bentley you have, whether you paid 300 or 40, you've got the same car. So most people want that car for a little cheaper. So I'm trying to get these cars. Um, we've got regular Mustangs probably come in, maybe the Escalades for the CES show. Um, I'm gonna get a lower tiered uh, company because now that we're building out all these new systems, a new app, a new all, bunch of new things happening for 2020. 2020 is the biggest year for royalty ever. Literally ever. I'm changing as much as I can to reinvent the wheel all the time. And so today is no different. We're going to go look today for uh, Tony's dream car, which Absolutely. is which car? The Dodge Hellcat. Whether which is you're looking at the Charger or the Challenger. Either way, you can't go wrong with the Hellcat. Just want to let you know that Tony can afford his dream car. He just chooses not to for some reason. Um, you know, I'm not sure why, but uh, anyways, Tony refuses to buy his dream car. But we're going to go out there and test drive it. And now that Tony has the ability to look at it every day, maybe it's going to force him to like pull the trigger. It probably will. I'm, I'm curious because like my dream car was a GTR for a very long time, and my uncle bought one. Yeah. And and actually. It's uh, it was uh, he wrote in it when you were how old are you when you when uh, Bob bought the GTR? Like 10? Uh, yeah, because I was like 18, right? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> wait, no, that was way too nah, 2012, 12, 13. Damn, I don't even know. He bought it in 2009, he got oh, the first okay. one in 2009. Oh, yeah, yeah, the charcoal gray one, yeah. Yep. So the second one he got way later, that was in 15. But, anyways, my point is, is that when I was like 16, okay, or 18, I don't even know, however old I was in 2009. Okay, <laughs> not sure. My uncle bought a GTR and it was like the first one ever and it was super cool and I thought it was my dream car forever and I drove it and I loved it. It was amazing and uh, it made me so inspired to actually get it because I got to experience it. And at Royalty, we do that every day with people, right? Because they come, they experience their dream cars, whether it's a dream car they can get or a dream car they can't afford yet. It gives them that inspiration to get it. So I'm hoping, Tony, I agree. Yeah, you, I, you I experience think... your dream car. Yeah, I think being able to to see him, be able to see Andy and you work on them, and just seeing everything that goes behind him on the ownership side of it, I think will put a lot of motivation on me to get one, or either to either get one or defer myself away from it, if that makes sense. Yeah, defer myself away from it sounds like Tony's plan. He's always trying to save money. He's like Mr. Super Saver, invest in my 401k, which there's nothing wrong with that, but <laughs> just he has the wrong, he's in the wrong industry for that type of lifestyle, <laughs> you know? You I need have, to get a job at Enterprise. I, have, I literally have <laughs> the worst boss for investment. Well, a personal investment. It's, I'm, it's I'm very well invested. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Renting cars doesn't make a lot of money. I've been able to um, utilize a lot of the income and, and reinvest it, but there comes a time where you have to choose reinvestment or like life, That's life. True. That's true. Fair. Okay, That's fair. That's you know, fair. don't go out and buy the demon tomorrow and put yourself in debt like you can't afford. Yeah, but 
maybe buy yourself like a nice used three three year old Hellcat yeah. that is very similar to what you're doing, or maybe get yourself an S class and you know be a boss like you know like this car. This is my favorite car ever. It's nothing. S63 is the best car, and I just heard super super sick rumor that the S73 is a real thing. Now I know there's an AMG GT73, which is the same power plant the GT, the four-door sedan GT has with the 200 horsepower electric battery powered hybrid motor on the side of it. So that would make that car 800 effing horsepower in the best goddamn car on the planet. Okay, so if they make an S73, you will never see me in another car. So we're gonna do the difference here. What is the difference between a brand new Hellcat Red Eye and maybe the uh, the one right behind me? So the one right behind me, Tony, can can you get us into the game right here? Because Dodge is not my specialty. So, and I hope it's your specialty because that's why I brought you on. It is. And I also brought Atwood to check if he fits in the back seat. Oh, All right? Yeah. So this is my true test whenever we buy a four seater car. Okay. If Atwood fits in the back, anybody, it passes. Jeez. So we had him in the if Ferrari California. Fits. If, if he sits it. <laughs> so, how, okay. how lucky are you even to go? Looking to go. Well, I just don't understand what's the difference. Should we buy this one or should we buy the, buy the red one or green one? There's like a hundred yeah, new ones so here. The, the, the red between, eye. The difference between the Hellcat and the Hellcat red eye is about 90 horsepower. Um, so, you're looking at a little bit different cooling system. It's a cold start. It's a lot of smokies. Just a wide body Hellcat. So, this one you're looking at 707 horsepower, the 6.2 liter engine, and this one is a manual. No, he turned it off because there's still white smoke. Nah. And then this one here, this one's an automatic. This one I believe is a 16. So, this one has very small differences on the interior. If you, well, go ahead and open it up. Yeah. Well, you sit on the other side. So the differences on oh, the interior, the nice. yeah, the seats are the seats are really nice. Thank goodness that Dodge was built for like bigger people because the the seats are a lot more comforting. So in the in the newer versions, the center console is tailored a little bit more towards the driver. This one is as well. Difference from kind of the 2011 and the 2012. And I can show you the real differences. Sounds good. This one has 4,000 miles on it. 4,026 miles, and it's a 16. So whoever had this pretty much babied it. Um, but the difference is in the Uconnect system, you'll get, once this loads, you'll accept that. Jeez. Yeah. But this they one. They don't know anything about this whole like oil separator stuff over here? Man. So you have all your apps and everything, but this is going to be the older system. So you'll have your radio. The new system is worth, this car here is $47,000, all right? The new one is uh, about 75. Well, technically, it's really like 80 something thousand, but they've got some $13,000 discounts right now yep. off the new ones. So, you know, we're looking at maybe getting a, a little bit less of a uh, of a price. And Absolutely. Th this yeah. is not gonna go down much, 47, mm -hmm. 45 maybe. So you're talking $20,000 difference. And you can, you can drive this car probably 30,000 miles and be the, the same, yeah, same price. So yeah. you'd be driving this one for free for pretty a pretty long time. Um, it has, I mean, everything is pretty much the same on the years. You're looking at very, very small differences. So the route to go on these, based off the features that are included, and it not being a wide body, I mean, you're you're looking at minimal differences. I you would definitely so it's go aesthetic. With a 16. Yeah. The only thing this is the only thing that I was like kind of like the newer red eye one is because it has a wider rear tire. Mm -hmm. So can I put a wider rear tire on this car? Yes. So there's really no difference yeah so this is a red eye this is a red eye so this one has 797 horsepower and this one these originally came out in 18 19 these also come in a wide body style but for the difference of 15 16 thousand dollars it's not worth it. but i mean look you got the hood looks cool okay well, that's pretty out, cool this came out with, the, with the new body style anyway it's it's going to be on the majority of the challenge this one's not open yet i don't think just the black key on this one, that means a slow mode. We're not gonna do that. Oh, seat's exactly the same. Yep. The center count it smells better in here. So, so this can, is not red, like see that right there. You can change those. So if you, if you notice the buttons now. It's red. 
The buttons look like 3D. Yeah, they're just different. It's like iPhone 5 to iPhone 6. Yeah, and it's also different paddles. Are they better? Just a little bit bigger. So a little bit higher up, uh, but they don't go down like a normal paddle you think of in like a Huracan. They're just on the top. Should we give people the red key? Yes. When we that's, rent it? Yeah, that's what they rent the car for. But I mean, are they really prepared? I think a car like this with, you know, they can break loose really easy, just like we're going to have to teach people a Mustang. It's going to be really important to let people know that these cars will break easy and it's they can be dangerous. This one didn't have a lot of white smoke, though. I can tell you that. They fixed that oil issue. <laughs> <laughs> they fixed that oil separator issue. Yeah. All right, so let's drive it. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know which one to do because we should probably drive it to understand if, if the only thing I'm concerned about, like I said, is a wider rear tire. Right, the wider tires give it a, a more of a, a, a ability to, to drive slower or faster or better or anything. You know, yeah. I think an improvement for three years should be something. And if it's not, shit, we're buying the forty-six thousand dollar one. Right? The dealer won't let me film in the car. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. Everybody, the whole like YouTube re revolution, everybody's got a camera now and everybody gets all in trouble because the things are on film. It basically means that businesses don't want their shady shit on camera. And everybody knows that a bunch of stuff goes down and so they don't want it out there. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'll get back. Okay, so for real, like this one passes. Uh, I think we'll, we'll get this. I don't really wanna spend the extra money on uh, the red eye. If this car does super good and people call me like, ah, f that car, I'm not getting this because you don't have a red eye, then okay, we'll go spend the extra 25 grand. Uh, but for now, that's not uh, that's not my prerogative. So the only other thing I saw is I really, really, really wanted to get a base, not a base model, but the non-Z06 Corvette. I had a lot of issues with the regular Corvette and um, I think it was a really uh, interesting thing. So they have a red Corvette here, which is perfect uh, for 40,000. I'd had no intention of buying this, but I think I might get this too because it has, it's 16,000 miles, right? It's got carbon down here. Um, it has uh, the, I think this one is a top that comes off. Jason, well, he's over there somewhere, but um, we have carbon side skirts over here. Uh, I also think that um, this looks like it has like the, the valved exhaust and all that kind of stuff. It does need some black wheels, yes. Um, Jason, is it possible for you to grab us the, uh, the key for this? Yeah and then want to check because I think this comes off. I just wanted to make sure. All right, look, this passed the test. It's got an automatic. Uh, it has the uh, uh, removable roof. I don't know where it's at right here. I, it's got it up here. You got some trunk space in the back. Um, we've got everything we need. We've got a, the fancy Bose sound system. It's got all the Bluetooth crap that everybody always wants and yeah, that's the, the secret compartment <laughs> so we can store anything you need in there. Um, I think we're going to get this too. So I will um, I'll make it happen. Well, it's time to do paperwork. They're actually letting someone drive the car right now. Again, this, uh, this, this guy's, uh, he's having a good time. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do the paperwork. I'm gonna buy both these cars and I'll be right back. That's not the backpack full of money. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, why do you wrap it like that? Backpack full of money. <laughs> All right, three hours, 27 minutes later, we got two cars. And we are here. But on the way out, this little <laughs> tiny Porsche over here snuck in, and I was like, man, Carrera S Coupe. I don't know. Should we go for number three? Not sure yet. Let me send a, uh, a quick message to the office and find out if they're still available for uh, more cars today because we need more customers sometimes. Look at this, beautiful sunset 
with the Hellcat and the Corvette. So I know the Hellcat's Tony's dream car. So Atwood, please tell him how it drives today. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You're gonna have to fight me for it. <laughs> uh, I don't really fit that well in the, you know? All right, so... Um, I'm really happy with our purchases today. Um, the three additions are all very well needed. We got sports cars and sports cars and more sports cars coming. Yep. So let's get, let's get these luxury cars on here. That BMW 7 Series is $359 a month if anybody wants it. Looking tight over there, 2010 750 Li. Fits in with what you just said. Looking tight. <laughs> Looking tight. Uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna end this video right here because we're gonna make another video of us racing probably home uh, because we're all hungry and uh, it's been a long three hour event over here. So guys, please like the, the video for the new cars available now at Royalty. So in about one hour, these will be back on the website and ready to go. Also comment and see if you guys want to get that Carrera that he just showed you. Yeah, uh, the Carrera is nice. Um, Carrera, it's a 2012 Carrera S for like 50 grand. It's a pretty cool car for 50 Great grand. Uh, it's a, a PDK and it's black with those pretty nice looking silver wheels. I will see you guys next video.